Hello everyone and welcome. My name is Jeff and today we are going to have some fun playing magic. And the fun thing that we're trying to do today is we are playing Gates and Drakes, uh, which is a deck that was chosen by my patrons on my Patreon account. Go check it out in the description below. One dollar a month to join in the polls. Uh, and uh, this deck is looking awesome. So um, we have our basic Drake deck, which has Crackling Drakes, Enigma Drakes, Niv Mizzet. Uh, whenever you draw a card, you get a pain for damage. And uh, whenever someone casts an instant or sorcery spell, you get a draw a card. Uh, and so there's just so many ways to be drawing cards first off with the Gates deck. And that's part of the, what we're trying to abuse is Niv Mizzet becomes more powerful, as well as it kind of, we end up playing quite a few um, sorceries and instants. So we end up playing, I think about the same number of creatures as the Drake deck does uh, have. I added Gatebreaker Ram, Gate Colossus, and Archway Angel just because the gate creatures still work well. Gate Colossus is recurring, you know, it, it dies and it comes back. Gatebreaker Ram is just a three mana death demon. <laughs> it's awesome. And Archway Angel gets us a ton of life. So basically I needed those ones because those actually help out with the it, with the Drake plan. So I think that it's it's kind of I wouldn't go not play those you could do this deck without them but um i think it's good to at least have those in here because they work well we do have one terry manor and then otherwise we were just playing tons of spells to try to fill up our graveyard with instants and sorceries to grow our drakes to make their power stronger flying in evasively um and win the game also the big fun fun thing we can do with this is niv Mizzet with guild summit is just it's just broken like it really is so let's go ahead and get into the gameplay and see how this one goes and wish me luck all right we're up against azathoth and uh azathoth and um guild summit definitely clarion um and we can actually play them both so yeah we're gonna keep this absolutely uh so already we have ways to get some power onto this enigma drake uh we i think i always try to start with simic guild gate because it's best with growth spiral um if you can um, I mean, at this point, it really wouldn't matter, but still, that, that's why I do it. All right, uh, let's go ahead and just Gateway Plaza. Pay one here. I want to be able to get our white mana available, especially if they're going to start creating tokens and stuff here. Um, that would be not fun. All right, there's Senior Slimefoot. And uh, Death and Clarion kills both these guys, so we're just going to fire that off. Actually, we can't just yet, can we? Um, so... Yeah, is Gilgate and pass the turn. And uh Radical Idea, probably just gonna draw a card. Oh man. But sneeze. I'm sorry guys. Okay, okay, we're good. <laughs> Alright, Spore Swarm. So many saplings. So they will be getting lots of life from this. Uh, but we are going to leave them with only three cards in hand. Alright, radical idea. Perfect. Uh, I mean, I would like to get down Guild Summit earlier if I could, but we're going to go ahead and definitely Clarion first. I think that's important. And then uh, the Drakes from here on out should be able to be good enough blockers to kind of just block most things. Uh, so yeah, pass my turn. And uh, Deafening Clarion. Three damage each creature. Yep. So they get to ping us for three... Okay, yeah, I was, I was thinking those triggered. That was weird. All right, down to ten. Uh, so we do have to keep track of our of our uh, life total. Uh, that's the other reason I like Deafening Clarion um, over just Gates of Blaze in this deck is because it creates a way that we can actually gain life. So that is why we use that. Um, do we want to Guild Summit and draw a card here? I'm thinking they're going to overcommit. They only can do two damage next turn. So, and we have another Deafening Clarion. We could like create it, do a Drake, so we can gain some life back. But I think I think we're going to go ahead and just Guild Summit here. Tap down one, draw a card. Play is it? Um, we want to try to get mana for Niv Mizzet if possible as well. Because uh, that is that is one of the things we want to do eventually. If it ever happens, gives us a shot. All right, uh, killing everything here will be will be very good. Yeah, create a sapperling. And uh, this one might just end the game for us. So, uh, deafening clarion. I mean, it would have been nice to be able to uh, play a creature first. But... 
Gruel Guild Gate. Let's see if we draw a card. Or draw a land. So I was thinking Gruel Spiral might be useful, but we're probably just going to uh, Radical Idea here. So pass the turn. Yep, Song of Freilis doesn't do anything. Spore Swarm resolves. Looks like they're just passing their turn. Radical Idea. Alright, well, so now we need to start playing creatures. So let's go ahead and draw a card first. Maximize Velocity. Alright, uh, can we play the Ram and the Enigma Drake? We can. So, Enigma Drake. Gatebreaker Ram. Uh, now we have blockers, and we pass the turn. Uh, Maximize Velocity, I think, is an awesome card in this as well. Giving uh, haste. I mean, a lot of the gates deck are playing Riot, or the uh, the Riot card. This is kind of the same thing, but for the Drakes, basically. Gates ablaze. We do kill the Enigma Drake here, but it's totally worthwhile. So, first off, let's... Can we save it by diving down? It's exactly seven. All right. Well, let's grow Spiral. Play that. Draw a couple cards. Or draw a card now. And, uh, all right. With the Angel, I'm not terribly worried. Uh, but let's still kill this Tender Shoe Dryad. Yeah. So here's the thing. I could swing in first with Enigma Drake for 5 damage, but if we just swing in with the Gatebreaker Ram, it's going to be even better. So, Gates Blaze. Wipe the board. Uh, let's go ahead and grow Spiral again. Draw a card. Play Plaza of Harmony. Gain some life. And swing in for 10. I could even maximize Velocity there if I wanted to to make it lethal for the next turn. Um, and end the turn... And, uh, Llanowar. Well, this one, um, it looks like just our basic gate deck is what's really won this one for us. We don't actually kill them here without the Drakes, though. Yeah, opponent scoops it up. Uh, we just had... I, I think that's why you do typically want to play a Deafening Clarion as well as Gates of Blazes, because you absolutely have to clear up those early turns uh, to, to have a chance with the Gates deck. All right, up against uh, Divinity. Divinity. Oh, now I feel foolish. All right, Divinity is who we're up against. And, um, yeah, we'll keep this. This isn't bad. Uh, Death and Clarion, we have Quench. Um, opponent's going first. I mean, it's not an amazing hand. We don't have any of like, the things that really help this deck be good. But uh, hopefully we can get to Archway Angel before we... We cannot. All right, uh, I'm going to go ahead and play. Uh, is it Guildgate first, so that we can have Quench up the turn that we play Boros Guildgate? So every turn, so every one of our lands has either red or blue, um, and that's very purposeful uh, because we want to be able to play our Niv Mizzet. And so Gateway Plaza helps a ton with that, as well as other stuff. But yeah, it's it's good. All right, so. Yeah, go ahead and we'll, we'll Gateway Plaza. And uh, we're hoping that they just uh, play a lot of stuff here on this on this turn. Death and Clarion will be fantabulous. <coughs> Alright, looks like they're trying not to overcommit. Uh, and Gross Spiral is just an amazing card. So let's Gruel Guildgate and we'll pass the turn. We might quench something here. Uh, we're okay taking another hit. See if they play anything. So they're not playing anything. Alright, so Gross Spiral. Um, Boros Guildgate. There's the Colossus. Alright, well, let's just... Actually, we can gain life with it. They might also kill it, though. All right, Plaza of Harmony gains some life back. Um, all 
I could grow spiral or quench with while playing this. I'm just thinking if we gain some life, but if we also draw into another land with this grow spiral, then we have the archway angel for the next turn, and then we should be fine. Uh, so let's go ahead and uh, let's go ahead and get down gate classes. I'm gonna play a little bit more risky because we got the uh, we can almost race here, but we'll just pass the turn. Healer's Hawk can still get in. I, I just really want to be able to gain the three, the eight life with Deafening Clarion. Uh, I'm guessing it's a Mortify, though. They, I'm, they've had a handful of nothing. All right, history of the Nalia. All right, well, that was the other thing, too, is I, I wanted to get a little bit more value out of this, if possible. All right, so now we Deafening Clarion. Creatures gain lifelink, does three damage. All attack. Yep. Gain some life. And end the turn. We might use this dive down or quench here. We'll see what they play. Alright, Twilight Prophet, we cannot do anything against. All right, uh, grow spiral. Circuitous route, huh? All right, uh, Simic Gilgate route, and what what colors are we needing for Niv? Is it? We're kind of good. So there we go. Um. And we're going to keep attacking. They're going to swing in for six next turn. They can't block this, though. So, down to eight. Uh, we'll see how much life they gain. I think that's our biggest issue, is if they gain too much life. But next turn we have the angel, and we'll, we'll be just fine. They can't block the gate colossus until they get something with higher power. Uh, there they go. Yeah, Quench Quench is one of those that I'm, I'm kind of been debating on with this. I, I feel like it's great for the early turns, but then it is pretty dead once you get to the late game, which you typically get to the late game with this deck. So um, let's let's grow Spiral first, see if we can get another gate. Nope, all right, well, Angel. Gain some lives. All attack. They have to block with Shalai or Seal Away. All right, and uh, man, the deck is doing well, but it's not the Drake side of the deck. Like we haven't even seen a Drake at all, and I swear we have them in here. <laughs> but uh, apparently, the one Gate Colossus, the one Archway Angel, and the one Ram that we have in here are going to be seen more than anything else because magic. You are capable of more than you assume. All right, well, now they can block the gate, but uh, they actually created a bunch of blockers for us there. Kind of surprised they scooped. <laughs> All right, up against Teh Fat Panda. Not the, but Teh. And, uh, all right, Gross Spiral to draw into lands, Guild Summit, and Niv Mizzet. We're keeping because we have Niv Mizzet. Um, I, I mean, and because we have. Uh, the right lands for Gross Spiral here. And we're on the draw. Alright, well, Simic Guildgate. Uh, what we're hoping for is Plaza of Harmony. Um, that's the best turn to... Alright, there we go. Plaza of Harmony. Uh, pass the turn. This is why I always start with Simic Guildgate, is because if we get the Plaza of Harmony, then it is just so beautiful to Gross Spiral. Well, uh, we're going to take it. Alright, so, <laughs> Annexation. The annexation of Puerto Rico. If you guys can quote what movie that's from, I'll give you a, a plus, a star. Um, we're going to hope for this Deafening Clarion and hope for drawing anything. Maybe we just mulligan this. We have Niv Mizzet. We're going to keep it. We have Drakes in this hand. And we've not been seeing those. So uh, get down Boros, Skilled Gate, pass the turn. Opt. Um, 
not drawing into blue is pretty bad here. We Most of our lands, I, blue is the color that we have the most of in our land base. It's actually, I think I evened it out because uh, I changed up some things, but... All right, well, Gruel Guild Gate. So we have another turn to draw land. That, that was the goal. So we we're going to draw some good stuff first, and then we're going to keep drawing lands from here on out. And it's going to be blue, so we can play Guild Summit. All right, well, we're up against the other version of the Drake deck. Well, it is a land. It is exactly what we wanted. Kind of. Yeah, past the turn. And, uh... Often discovery. There's still quite a ways away before they can adapt the Terramander. So I'm thinking they might be okay. So no counter. Uh, we're just gonna guild summit and draw a card. Now that we have this, our card advantage should just win us the game. Another guild summit. It's not bad. All right, shock. So they're going to go for the uh, the aggressive plan, which uh, they can now turn on this Terramander, which is an issue. Yep, swings in, adapts. Five. So maybe I should have definitely Clary on there. Um. These Crackling Drakes... <sighs> the Crackling Drake can block for us. We can do that on the next turn as well, though. I'd rather get a chance to draw what we actually need. So, Gates of Blaze... Land and Gates of Blaze would be good. So, Guild Summit. Number two. Tap, Submit, and a Quench. Alright, um... I mean, get rid of Maximize Velocity. Now we actually have some power <laughs> for our Drakes. Ooh, this isn't bad. All right, uh, down to seven. And there's the Drake. Okay. Uh, we need to. We need to draw a gate. Play it. Draw two cards and find Gates of Blaze. And this is what we're going to do. Yep, draw two cards, find Gates of Blaze. Draw Gates of Blaze. Hmm. So next turn we can Deafening Clarion and Lava Coil to kill this. So let's just Crackling Drake to draw a card and have a blocker. We have Plaza of Harmony to gain us some life back next turn. Oh, now we draw the Gates of Blaze. Oh, all right. Uh, we'll discard uh, Enigma Drake and Crackling Drake. I, I, sorry, we, we should have discarded the Quench. I don't know what I was thinking. Um, yeah, block here. And there's game. Okay. Well, uh, they had our number there. Uh, we just were playing a little too slow. If we had drawn the Gates of Blaze there, we would have won. But the next card, of course. All right, up against Air Ticks. Bring it on, Air Ticks. And um, we are playing our Gates and Drakes deck, which we have Gates, we have Drakes, and we're going to keep it. Um, I'm debating if I... I was thinking these quenches would be nice, and I feel like... They haven't been, really. This is another hand where we might use it, though. We're, we're basically going to quench anything on that turn, too. I think that's the issue, is that, like, that's when you tend to play it, or need it, is on that turn. But a lot of people do play around counters around that time as well. Like, if you're playing blue, you, you leave two mana up, people tend to stop playing stuff. Uh, but we might be able to get Rhythm of the Wild here, which would be beautiful. If we can get Rhythm into Wild, draw into you. Uh, see, now we just play Guild Summit, though. 
and gain some life back. And then we end up never playing our quench. Which we're also okay with, because that's awesome. But if this is Rhythm of the Wild, yeah. It might have been better just to, to hold off there. Alright, uh... Draw. Drake. And, uh... Pass the turn. I, mean, I love Plaza of Harmony and Gateway Plaza. It's just amazing. Alright, so they do spend some stuff to kill it. That's fine. Swing in for four. Down to eleven. Alright, draw a card. Draw a card. Where is our Gates of Blaze? Uh, Circuitous Route is pretty awesome. Ooh, Double Rhythm. Yeah, block here. Down to nine. They haven't been drawing um, any mana, though. So, honestly, this quench... Now is when the quench is useful. Um, and we, But still, Circuitous Route is even better. <laughs> Especially because we need to sec finally draw into something good. So, um, yeah, we're going to go ahead and play this. We have Dive Down to help us out with some stuff here. Um, we need... It really doesn't matter. Um... Is it Guild Gates are the best though, so we'll grab those. Alright, draw two more. There we go. And. Yeah, we'll, we'll leave up Dive Down. Discarding Zorius Guild Gate. We have two Guild Gates here, so we're fine. Cinder Vines. Oh man. All right, well, now we need Archway Angel. Uh, let's go ahead and kill one of these guys. Yeah, we'll take the two there, but we get to kill something on board. Or take one. Sacrifice to destroy target artifact or enchantment. So, are they going to use it for the guild summit? Man, every time we don't play this quench now, it's been killing us. <laughs> All right. Um... Oh, give us something good. We've we've drawn a lot of cards to not draw anything here. Whew. Draw some more cards. Give us more nothing. We just basically have to make sure they don't hit us again. Um, we're also going to have to start doing some damage. Alright, um, we're going to hold up... Mana for quench and dive down. This one every cast one enters the battlefield. Alright, go ahead and quench that. Yep, resolve. Taking our damage. Growing our guys as well though. Whoa, 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 whoa. Did I not choose the spell? Oh, they can't be countered with Rhythm of the Wild. Oh my gosh. I've never been on the other side of that. I've never been on the other side of that before. I totally forgot about that part of it because I'm always the guy playing the Rhythm of the Wild. And now they swing in for our millions. They, they don't swing in. That's actually really surprising. Alright, pass to my turn. Um, perfect. That is actually absolutely perfect. Alright, so... Let's draw first. Niv-Mizzet. Play Niv Mizzet. Alright, so Deafening Clarion lets us swing in for four, gain four. Um, we get to kill their board, and we're in great shape. Alright, so. Hopefully they don't have removal here, but we go down to four. 
Then we'll go back up to 12. And uh, Niv Mizzet is what saved us here. So, yep, kill you. Your people die. And I'll attack. And there we go. All right. Uh, and we should be in decent shape now. Honestly, another Deafening Clarion for more life gain would be good. Well, we have lethal next turn. Demanding Dragon. Okay. So we just have to play one. Uh, decline. So take five. Down to seven. I mean, there you go. Opponent scoops it up. Yeah, they could swing in, but we would just trade off with the Nimbus or even take the six. Uh, but, whew, man. Not a... <laughs> uh, this despite the big punt there. All right, so there you guys have it with uh, Gates and Drakes. And uh, I, I used every single video uh, game I played there. So that was pretty fun. And um, I totally forgot about uh, Rhythm of the Wild. I, I swear I've always been on the side where you don't get yourself countered rather than the guy that's, that's trying to counter it. So um, I do think that these quenches were kind of anticlimactic. Like if I had used them on the Rhythm of the Wild, I don't, I don't know. So anyway, uh, if you guys have any ideas for the decks, please leave them down in the comments below. Uh, please like the video, subscribe, all that stuff. Help help me get to 10,000 subscribers. It will be so awesome. Uh, I'll do something big for that. And if you guys liked my videos, please come back again. And I'll see you in the next video. Thanks so much and goodbye.